Hello, everybody. Let's explore the library ecosystem for eBPF. So you want to build an app, but you don't know much about the available options. Should you bite the bullet and go with one of the C libraries? Should you try your luck with one of the libraries in your preferred language? This talk will get you one step closer to choosing the libraries um, that work for you. Hopefully, you're not thinking about a BPF app in Java or PHP. If you are, you'll have to write your own library. Good news, the stock will give you a few ideas too. Here's the list of libraries we'll explore. A bit of background before we get started. When you create a BPF-based app, you need a library that will load and ideally attach your program to the right hook. You'll also want a library that supports the I.O. needs for your application using the map, perf, and ring buffer constructs in BPF. And if you're new or if you're not comfortable writing BPF programs from scratch, you might benefit from the libraries that help you build the programs using higher level constructs. In this talk, I'll focus more on the, B on the BPF program attaching capabilities for different program types to help you choose the library. As you know, there are different BPF program types. Each type can be attached to a different part of the Linux kernel. The program types uh, can be grouped into categories. The most common categories are tracing or profiling and networking. You'll find the list of categories uh, at the end of these slides. Let's start with the most basic libraries. They're low level, but they provide the foundation for many other libraries. BCC is the most mature option with the biggest community. Good option to build V1 of your tracing app. LibBPF is the official low level BPF library good option if you don't want to compile the BPF programs at runtime. The starter project makes it easier to develop your app in C, even if your C is a bit rusty. Quite a few Go libraries out there. This is the official BCC wrapper. Doesn't seem to expose everything in BCC. Provides good coverage for tracing apps though. This is not a wrapper, which is great if you're worried about CGO slowing down your app IO. Interesting features, but the, app, um, but the API is a bit confusing. Strange that it doesn't support attaching XDP and TC program types given its networking use. This is also not a wrapper. Too bad it only supports K-probes for tracing. I like this library more than the previous library. This is a libbpf wrapper. Great option for tracing apps given its origins. There are a couple of libraries for Python and only one of them works as is. This is the official BCC wrapper for Python. Tons of sample code, great option to prototype your first BPF app, especially if it's a tracing app. PyABPF is built on top of the BCC wrapper. It allows you to define all parts of your app in Python, but it needs work and it only supports gate probes. Rust has a number of interesting libraries and not all of them are wrappers. This is a lightweight wrapper for libbpf. It's, um, uh, it's used for the libbpf bootstrap examples in Rust. So it sort of makes it an official wrapper. This is another libbpf wrapper. It re-implements some of the program attaching logic. Should be okay for tracing apps if you don't need raw trace points. Red bpf probes to build bpf programs looks interesting. This is a pure Rust library. Very ambitious, lots of potential if they can pull it off. Supports more BPF program types than I expected. Good for tracing and low level networking apps. Aside from the uh, Lua library, you'll need to invest a bit of extra time to make these other libraries work. This is the official BCC wrapper for Lua. Even this library has a few rough edges. There's a third party library um, for Ruby that wraps BCC and there is a BCC wrapper for Node.js as well. If you're writing a tracing app, especially with k-probes, almost any library will be okay. If you want to write a tracing app that won't break with different kernel versions, make sure you pick a library that supports trace points or raw trace points. XDP is the most commonly supported network program type. However, not all libraries will attach these programs for you. Keep that in mind. If you don't want to compile the BPF programs when your app is deployed and runs on the target machine, then don't choose BCC or one of its wrappers. Thank you and feel free to reach out if you have any questions.